So yeah, so like I was saying, time is never wasted if you're learning something. That's what I like to say now, you know? That's right. I said that. <laughs> okay. So um, did you wanted to do something, uh, PV equals NRT or something uh, like yes. that? Okay, so have a good one, Alan. If uh, my evaluation. Oh, you let me do this one and I'll okay, cool. get that for you. I'm not in no job. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, so, uh, is there a particular one of these that you want to do? or yeah, All of it is pretty much uh, the same, just different ways. I pick one. Okay. We would do it. Um, okay, let's try this one. Uh, it says a uh, 1.30 liter balloon is taken from room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, and placed <coughs> into a freezer at negative 11.5 um, degrees Celsius. What's the new volume? So you can, like I was saying, you can do all these PV equals NRTs or all these gas laws by using PV equals NRT. So you just do PV equals NRT 1, 1, 1, 1. And you don't put the 1 on the R because it's constant. And then you divide it by PV equals NRT. But P2, V2, N2, R, T2. Okay? So R is the same. So it cancels out. Um, so let's just write down what the problem gives us now. So uh, T1 is the initial temperature. Um, and it says that's room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. But you can't use degrees Ooh. Celsius. What do you got to use? Kelvin. Kelvin. And how do you get that from so degrees plus, Celsius? Plus 273. So 25 plus 273. What is that? 298. 298 Kelvin. Okay. So it also gives us T2, which is cool. Right. And that says negative 11.5 degrees Celsius. So to 63, 262, 261.5, right? Okay, and it also gives, it gives us a volume, initial volume, so V1 is 1.30 liters and that's the units you want it in okay. and then uh, V2 is what we're looking for it says what's the new volume okay so notice the only things that changed are the temperature and the volume does that make sense yeah. so if that's the case did the pressure change no uh, uh So P1 and P2 are the same, is what it's saying. Okay. Did the volume change? Yeah. So we did our V1 and V2 different? Yeah. So we got to leave that like that. So let's bring those down. V1 divided by V2 equals. Did the number of moles change? No. No. So N1 equals N2, right? Mm -hmm. So we can cancel that. And did the temperature change? Yes. So we got to bring that down. T1 does not equal T2. So we do that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> so there's a bunch of these gas laws. You can do them all like this. So all you really got to remember is that PV equals NRT. It makes it a lot easier. Well, it, we're looking for V2. Okay. So the easiest way for me to get there, I like to get there, just by flipping everything over, right? So if you flip one side, you can flip the other one, okay? So we're going to turn this into a different equation. Uh, V2 over V1 equals T1, oh, oh, sorry, T2 over T1, like that. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So let's just erase up here for a second. And remember, we have to isolate, the reason we did that, why did we do that? Because we're trying to isolate the variable V2, 
right? Okay. Okay, so we need that by itself. Yeah. Okay. So, in order to now do get V2 by itself, we multiply both sides by V1, right? That'll cancel V1 out. So, if you can do anything to them, right? You just got to do it to both sides. So if we cancel V1 out like that, what's our new equation? V2 equals T2, V1, right? Is this the right? T1. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So then we can erase that part. And then, now it's easy, you just plug and chug. Okay? So, what's T2? T2, 261.5 Kelvin. Why did I, I left all of that just because the final answer I'm going to take to, um, well, uh, three sig figs. Okay, so uh, V1 is going to be 1.30 liters. <laughs> divided by T1, uh, which is 298 Kelvin. Notice, Kelvin divided by Kelvin cancels. And you're left with what? Liters. Liters. Is that what you want? Yes. Yeah, because you're looking for a volume. That's awesome. So, do liters. And then all, all we got to do now is take... 261.5, multiply that by 1.3, divide that by 298, and I got 1.14 liters. So, that's the new volume of the balloon. So, the other thing I want you to ask yourself is, when you increase the temperature of a balloon, does it get bigger or smaller? It gets bigger. It gets bigger. Did we increase or decrease the temperature here? We took it from room temperature, put it in a freezer. So what did uh, we do? It, it, um, it decreased. Well, think. Did, is that what happens yeah. when you put things in a yeah. freezer? So think. Then remember, it's not all in the chemistry book, okay? Yeah. So if you put something in the freezer, what happens to the temperature? It goes down. Goes down, yeah. right? So you would expect the balloon to get bigger or smaller? Smaller. Did it get smaller? It's 1.14 yes. smaller than 1.30. Yeah. So that's your final check. Okay. So make sure you may use your brain. You know, not just your chemistry and canceling units, you know, because you know, put in the freezer, it's going to get smaller. Cool? Any questions? Nope.